Right, good afternoon everybody. I'm Chris. I'm from uh, the NatWest Bank uh, in Southampton. We're, we're in Chandler's Ford, just up the road. Um, and the guys have asked me to talk to you today a little bit about banking and financial services. Um, some of the uh, types of uh, things that go on in the industry, um, some of the things that we do, uh, some of the things about how my career's progressed, and then some of the ways that I can help you into suggesting ways into institutions like uh, like RBS, NatWest that I work for. So just starting off, RBS is our parent company, so you've probably all heard of NatWest. Um, the Royal Bank of Scotland, RBS, is our, is our group parent company, that's our, our legal parent, uh, and it's what we call a bank of brands, so it, inclu it includes the NatWest brand and it includes other brands around the world uh, that, that focus on helping our customers with financial services requirements. Now we've been uh, in existence as a bank for over 300 years now. Um, started off um, in Edinburgh in Scotland and it's still based there today in St Andrews Square. Um, we're in countries all across the world um, and we've got in the region of 30 million customers. So we're a pretty big organisation and um, what it does offer you um, as, a, as an employee is great opportunities to do uh, your work with um, a real range of, of client types across the world. So the bank is structured um, in three ways. It serves three types of clients. We have our retail division, which is serving people like you and I with bank accounts, the man on the street. We then have what we call commercial and private banking, which is the division that I work for. Uh, commercial and private banking uh, serves um, businesses, small businesses, um, right the way through to uh, the largest companies in the UK. So if you've heard of the FTSE, then they're, they're our clients, uh, the clients on the FTSE 100. And then above that, we have something called NatWest Markets. And NatWest Markets serves the very, very biggest of the global companies uh, and the very complex needs that they have across the globe. So the type, of, the type of work we do in the three divisions, uh, so in retail, it'll be stuff that you're familiar with, so it'll be checkbooks and bank accounts and uh, debit cards and credit cards and mortgages and all the things that we need from a personal perspective. Uh, in commercial and private banking, we, we begin to serve those, those business customers and above, so we support them with business loans as well as bank accounts and the clearing banking arrangements that they need. Uh, all the way up to helping them trade internationally, um, providing them with loan facilities. Uh, and then NatWest Markets, which serves those very global companies, that, that helps them get access to the international finance market. So um, if somebody wants to issue shares or issue bonds or get access to the debt capital markets, that's what that part of the bank does. Um, and if anybody's got any questions as we go through, please please let me know um, in case you want to ask me any of that. Um, we realise that um, young people um, and students and school leavers are, are the key to our future. So we're investing heavily at the moment um, in talented young people um, and hoping, hopefully attracting them uh, to come and work for us because we realise that they're the future of our business. Um, and we've had a lot of success over the last couple of years with attracting young people to our businesses. So, um, for example, we've um, just had uh, approximately 600 apprentices um, over the last three years taken into our businesses. And the vast majority of those have ended up with full-time jobs at the end of it. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about that um, in, later on in the presentation. We're very keen as well, as, as well as attracting young people, what we're keen on doing as well is, is turning what we call um, your passion into your potential. And that's, what, that's something you can um, search for on the, intra, on the internet um, or our Twitter feed. Um, and it's very much about turning the things that you're interested in, uh, in your school and uh, your educational and your personal lives, and transferring it into what would make a great career. So if you're into, um, say, technology, we have a huge investment going on in technology at the moment. Banks are investing vast amounts of money in technology um, of tomorrow. Um, things like quantum computing and um, uh, obviously the internet, in electronic banking of tomorrow. A lot of money is going into that um, and artificial intelligence. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, we've got loads of opportunities for that. Um, obviously, if you're interested in 
uh, numbers or accounting, there's plenty of opportunities for that. Human resources, marketing, uh, client service, telephone, but there's loads of things you can do um, in the Royal Bank Scotland group. And it's about finding what, what you're passionate about and finding a job for you and turning it into your potential. So I mentioned a few of the things that we do, uh, or we've done with um, school leavers and graduates over the last couple of years. I just run you through a few numbers. We've, um, in 2016, we took on 250 uh, students on our summer intern programme. We took on 300 graduates last year. Uh, we took 1,200 people through our um, employability boot camps. So that's basically taking you on at the start, um, putting you through our, our boot camp process and, and just getting you out the other end, uh, you know, better, more attractive um, potential employee at the end of it. And that can be applied to any industry, not just banking. Yeah, we'd love it if you work for us, but it can, it can apply to other industries as well. Uh, we took on 200 apprentices last year. Um, and the vast majority of those were turned into full-time jobs, um, so that was great. Um, and we took 15,000 people through our career Kickstarter program last year, which yeah, is a, a web-based program, um, basically bringing your um, employability skills up from where you are in education uh, into, into the real world, into the employment market, and making yourselves as attractive as possible to, uh, to future employers. So some of, the, some of the awards that we've won over the last couple of years um, that we're very proud of in terms of what you're thinking about, we've, um, we've been accredited with the Investors in Young People Award. Uh, we're in the Guardian Top 300 of um, employers to work for. Uh, we're in the Top 100 of Stonewall for the LBGT community. Uh, we are in the Top 100 for graduate employers in the country. The Top 100 in terms of the best companies to work for, um, and in the top 50 uh, for female employers as well, which is something we're very proud of as well. And you've probably all got your sort of opinions on financial services and banking and that sort of thing um, before you came in here. And I, th I think there are some sort of misconceptions around the industry. And some of the ones that we tend to quite commonly see um, are that it's male dominated, um, that it's uh, predominantly to do with international travel and high flying. Um, it's got a bit of a tarnished reputation after, say, 2007, 2008, and that you have to be sort of highly numerate to get a job or succeed um, in the industry. Um, and and those, those things are absolutely not the case. So in June, what is it like in reality? Um, in reality, it's very um, what we call values-driven. So... Um, we have a set of values that we work to in the bank um, and it pretty much drives 100% of our decision making. So if we're forced to make a decision on something, on anything, uh, we always um, check whether it fits with our values as well. So it's very much value driven. I mentioned earlier there's a lot of roles in the bank as well. It, it, it is highly varied as well. So yeah, there are those numerical roles in the bank. Um, but there are also uh, a whole load of other jobs that you can uh, undertake in the bank as well. So the, 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 the marketing jobs, HR jobs, um, lots of different things you can do. And in, and in my job in, in, in particular, I, I do have a, a numerate element to my job, um, but it's very much client relationship and internal relationship and management based. So there's lots of things that I do in my job, um, as well as just numerate stuff. It's fast-paced as well, so um, things are changing constantly. So banking is, a, is, a, is an industry that's uh, under pressure from competition, regulation, uh, new entrants to the market at the moment. So we are constantly being forced to um, update what we're doing and keep it fresh and lead the market where we can. So when I talked earlier about things like um, artificial intelligence and quantum computing and all those sorts of things, that, that's the sort of thing that we're focusing a lot of time and investment on at the moment because um, it's, it's developing very, very quickly. Um, it's very much customer driven as well. So we keep our, our customer absolutely um, at the heart of what we do. So every decision we make, we always consider what, what impact is that going to have on our customers. So um, that's something that drives us in particular is, 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 is keeping our um, clients as happy as possible um, because they will be 
um, the advocates for, of tomorrow for our referrals to tomorrow um, and our income for tomorrow as well. So you probably want to know a little bit about what the entry routes are into uh, financial services. And I'll talk a little bit about, um, about RBS and NatWest. We have um, three main entry routes into our organisation. Uh, whether you're coming from university, uh, if you're a college or a school leaver, um, or what we call the informal route. So from university we have um, three ways that you can um, apply to uh, get into the RBS group. So we, um, we start off with what's called our spring week, and that's typically run um, in the Easter uh, holiday, in the Easter school holidays. Uh, it's April this year, and what it is, um, it's, a, it's a chance to work shadow an existing graduate on our graduate scheme um, and see what they do. Um, you spend a week or two weeks with us and you're given a variety of uh, tasks and roles and responsibilities to do. Um, and essentially you are um, almost on the interview for a week or two because the ultimate aim is then that you, um, you then move on to getting a place in our summer internship. And that's the second entry route for university students. Um, the summer internship um, is exactly that. It's a 10 week program run during the university summer holidays and it's for uh, students going from their penultimate year into their final year. You spend uh, those 10 weeks with us doing a variety of uh, roles and responsibilities, uh, shadowing other people, you get access to buddies and mentors, uh, and at the end of it you get assessed, uh, and if you're successful in that assessment that's one way uh, into our graduate scheme. Now the graduate scheme you can either apply for via that summer internship, or you can apply for it externally or, or we'll come to your university um, and do the milk rounds at university as well. Uh, the grad scheme is a two-year program um, and you'll rotate four times every six months uh, to go and do a variety of jobs and roles um, across the group so it may be uh, in one location doing various roles, it may be geographically, you may um, even change country uh, doing roles across the world um, and that, that was my entry point into the bank. Uh, 14 years ago. Um, as a college or school leaver we run our apprenticeships uh, programme which we're very proud of, we're in our third year now. Um, as I say we brought on 600 in total over the three years, uh, we took on 200 last year, uh, we're aiming to do the same again this year, we took our, our intake in in November this year. Um, there's two apprenticeship apprenticeships that we run, we run a 12 month one um, or an 18 month to 24 month one, they're called level two and level three. Um, and again, it's essentially a bit like the grad program is that you are, you are on um, constant assessment, um, but you're given a full time job to do um, and you'll, you'll rotate throughout that period to get a uh, experience of roles throughout the bank. Um, the net result hopefully being that you get offered a job at the end of it. Um, in my office in Southampton, we've employed uh, we've got two at the moment, two um, former apprentices that are uh, now with us on full-time jobs. You get paid for all these, uh, these positions, by the way. Um, and then finally, the last way into the bank um, is to go via our, uh, what we call our informal work experience program. So we have um, offices around the UK um, that are set up to deal with students that want to come in and spend a week or two with us and just essentially work shadow what we do, uh, maybe go out and meet one or two clients um, and see, what, uh, see how the bank operates and see if you find it attractive and see if you want to take it to the next step. So that's about the end of my presentation in terms of, um, in terms of what we do. I'm happy to take any questions if anybody's got them. Yes. My background, uh, my background was mathematics. Yeah, yeah, uh, mathematics at university, um, and then I, uh, I did a, a placement scheme uh, in my third year at university with another bank, um, and that that helped me get my job uh, on the graduate scheme with the Royal Bank Scotland Group. Mm. Yep, so there's, so there's two intakes per year. 
Um, and if you, if, you, if you just do a quick Google search for um, RBS apprentices, um, then you'll see when the two intakes are. So the, the, the last one was done in November, um, and we do two per year. And I would encourage you to apply. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Um, it's entirely down to you. So, so, we're, so we're there 365 days a year, obviously. So, so, so if you want to uh, make contact with me or somebody in my office or anybody else in the UK um, about potentially undertaking a, a work shadow or a work placement, um, then we'd be delighted to talk to you. And um, yeah, if you want to, yeah, the best way to get in contact with me is either uh, LinkedIn or Twitter. Um, just, just DM me on Twitter or something like that, or, um, uh, or just come and see me at the end. And we can have a chat about it.